Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We are pleased to provide you piping educational videos. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button on below. You can get our membership packages to prepare better and useful videos for you, this motivates me even more. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll learn step by step how to calculate distance from the center of the elbow to the face of the welding neck flange in the pipe spool with easy and fast method. Let's start our education video. We prepared this video according to 6 inch 90 degree long radius and 8 inch 45 degree elbows pipe spool. In pipe fabrication, we often witness the preparation of pipe spools, which are called fitting to fitting. In order to fabricate such simple pipe spools more easily, it is necessary to know the dimensions of these pipe fittings. As you can see, in this pipe spool consists two 6-inch weld neck flange and one piece 90 degree. In this example, we will calculate the distance from the center of the 90 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face. For to calculate this distance we should be no dimension 6 inch 90 degree long radius elbow and weld neck flange. Let's look at the pipe elbow dimensions chart 90 degree elbows. Nominal pipe size of elbows is shown in this column. The outside diameter of elbows is shown in the second column. The radius of the 90 degree long radius elbows is shown in the last column. In our example we will look at row with nominal pipe size 6. The 6 inch elbow outside diameter 168.3 and center to end dimension 229 shown. Now look at the class 150 weld neck flange dimension chart. The nominal pipe size of flanges is shown in this column. The weld neck flange length is shown in this column. The 6 inch weld neck flange length 89 mm shown. Now we can write these dimensions on our example. So, in this example, we calculated and found the distance from the center of the 90 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face will be 229 plus 89 will be equals 318 mm. The other side of our spool also will be 318 mm. During the fit up before welding, this 318 mm should be added by 2 mm and 320 mm should be placed, so that 318 mm will remain after welding. Now we will calculate the distance from the center of this 8 inch 45 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face. For to calculate this distance we should be no dimensions 8 inch 45 degree elbow and weld neck flange. Let's look at the pipe elbow dimensions chart 45 degree elbows. Nominal pipe size of elbows is shown in this column. The outside diameter of elbows is shown in the second column. The radius of the 45 degree elbows is shown in the last column. In our example we will look at row with nominal pipe size 8. The 8 inch elbow outside diameter 219 mm and center to end dimension 127 mm shown. Now look at the class 150 weld neck flange dimension chart. The nominal pipe size of flanges is shown in this column. The weld neck flange length is shown in this column. The 8 inch weld neck flange length 102 mm shown. Now we can write these dimensions on our example. So, in this example, we calculated and found the distance from the center of the 8 inch 45 degree elbow to the weld neck flange face will be 127 plus 102 will be equals 229 millimeters. The other side of our spool also will be 229 millimeters. During the fit up before welding, these 229 mm should be added by 2 mm and 231 mm should be placed, so that 229 mm will remain after welding. 
I will put the link to the videos about elbows in the description section below, you can enter and watch. This education video is finishing here, if you find our content valuable don't forget liking and subscribing. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high quality videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you.